Hello, I'm Maria Moshiri, the head of product for WatsonX.ai, and today I'm excited to share a series of product enhancements that we are rolling out for developers. I always like to start with the market because it's evolving rapidly. If you just look at the last 16 to 18 months, the majority of the market has now moved from exploration and investigation to pilots, and some have moved to production-ready solution. When it comes to Gen AI adoption, though, a simple access to foundation models doesn't unblock and lo unlock business outcomes and opportunities. The real challenge lies in building robust enterprise applications on top of those foundation models. Behind the seamless AI application is an immensely complicated technology stack that developers need to harness. And that's where the magic happens. And that's why developers are crucial and critical for an enterprise to successfully cross the chasm to production. Developers' needs are clear. They require intuitive and collaborative development experiences that are offering automated capabilities with pre-built patterns. They are expecting seamless integration with a wide range of models, and not just the models, but also AI frameworks and the broader IT stack. And this calls for a state-of-the-art enterprise Gen AI stack and has been the guiding principle for us delivering Watson X.AI capabilities for our developers. Today, Watson X.AI covers developer needs from build and deployment toolkits to platform services and runtimes. The developer toolkit includes tools, frameworks, and deployment services accompanied by templates, documentation, and accelerators to jumpstart development efforts. We are SDKs and APIs first, but we are also developing selected no-code interfaces to make sure that we are meeting developers where they are. So let's look into some of the key components of this stack. I'd like to start with model customization, because you know the trend that we are seeing in the market for enterprise is customizing much smaller models on their proprietary data to create something that is differentiated for a target use case and delivers the performance that they need for a fraction of the cost. This makes the model customization and stacks extremely critical. There are three elements, three elements that I like to highlight when it comes to model customization. The first one is agents and agentic workflows. On the no-code builder side, um, we are developing, a, and we call it agent builder, and a no-code experience for our developers or business users to create users in what's on X.AI. But remember, our target and the goals are really SDKs and APIs, providing robust SDKs for our developers. We are integrated with Langchain and Llama Index, and we are enabling a range of Python-based agents like Crew AI, for example, or LangGraph in what's on X.AI. What it allows developers to do is to go to their idea of their choice, create their agent based on their platform of the, their, their favorite framework, the frame of, framework of their choice, like if it can, it can be a crew AI agent, land graph agents, or other plat frameworks, and then use the AI services that we are offering for deploying these agents in that AI to put the agents behind API and use that in their application. So end-to-end -end delivered within what's on X.AI. The second thing that we are going to offer is tool library and tool customization. Our what's on X flow engine is going to offer a way and option to create different tools that are going to be leveraged by those agents. And you know that these agents it's not just one single agents, it's multiple. Um, it can be multiple agents. The, the field is evolving. So the goal for us was to make sure that we are also covering the orchestrations between these agents. On the framework part, you've probably heard about B. It's a framework that is released by IBM Research and is available in preview for experimentation. And we are also bringing it to the platform 
to integrate it with our agents offering. And this is in addition to the third party integrations like Crew AI and Landgraph that IBM Watson X.AI is offering. The second stop is Instruct Lab for alignment tuning. We are going to bring an MVP to Watson X.AI in December for enterprise. What it allows enterprises to do is to bring their private knowledge and skills to Watson X.AI and do a private training, Instruct Lab training of those models in that AI. We are also offering the scalable ingestion pipelines to bring data and knowledge and skills from a range of different sources and in different formats, PDF, PPT, you name it, to that AI. In addition to that, for all of this, we are monitoring and tracking the lineage and governance to ensure that we can track which version of what taxonomy went to the training of what model, what version of the synthetic data was generated and used as part of this training, and what was what version of the grand, grounding data was utilized there. They are all tracked as part of what's next at AI. We are also looking into evaluation services, not just evaluating the quality of the data and quality of the synthetic data, but also looking into the quality of the training as it goes through the training and alignment process. And when the model is done, also looking into what other customization methods can be utilized to even enhance it further. And that's Instruct Lab. The second model customization that I'd like to cover is Auto, Auto AI. Auto AI rack. You remember we had Auto AI for um, traditional ML? Now we are offering Auto AI rack for rack. The concept is the same. What we are going to do here is to automatically generate a series of rack pipelines and, and for the target use case and provide evaluation of the pipeline for the given task to help the developers to pick and set and configure the auto rack pipelines. That functionality is available for preview today. And that complement, completes the model customizations approach. One thing that I like to call out is, and we talk, talk, just talked about that, is API and SDKs. We are doubling down on SDKs and APIs to make sure that our developer experience is easy to follow and comprehensive and complete. Later this month, we are going to release a developer hub for our developers that is bringing all the documentation, templates, accelerators, starters together as a single place to help the developers to get started rapidly with this uh, uh, Gen AI developments. Earlier this year, we expanded our SDK from Python to Node.js SDK. So now the SDKs are available in multiple programming languages and environments. And the last but not least that I'd like to call out is the key integrations with Watson X governance and the third party tooling, in particular in terms of the connections. Melvis connections is one example for enabling the RAG use cases to connect them to vector databases. The last thing that I'd like to cover here before I close is the models. Still, the models are powering up the whole stack. And one thing to highlight and that we are at IBM very excited about is the new granite models that we are releasing on October 21 to the market. That includes two granite models, granite 2B and granite 8B. These models are trained on 12 trillion tokens. They are both dense transformer architectures. They are exposed to 12 different languages and more than about 116 programming languages. So these are going to be powerful state of the art, both language and model uh, code models that we are offering as open source under Apache 2.0 license to the market. So lots of exciting thing. This is developer toolkit. I just uh, scratched the surface on this. 
paired with platform services that we are offering in .ai for collaboration and access contour, we are offering intuitive and collaborative development experiences to meet the needs of our developers. As you see, we offer automated capabilities like agentic workflows, auto -rag, auto AI rag that we just talked about with pre-built patterns. We offer seamless integration with a wide range of models, not just IBM proprietary models, but also open source models and the third party commercial models. We are offering integration with AI frameworks like Crew AI or IBM B framework, for example, and the broader IT stack like data connectors or guardrails. This performance AI development stack is built on open innovation and it is designed to empower enterprise developer in their journey from exploration to production and scale. And we are just getting started.